first things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head. Good morning, Cougars. Today is Tuesday, February 13th. This is DeAndre and Bethany bringing you the news. Homemade Valentines are on sale now. Buy a treat for friends and family. Each Valentine will cost $2 and comes with a candy treat. Make sure to buy them before they are gone. You have only two days left. Don't forget to donate your spare change to help find a cure for cancer through Pennies for Patients fundraiser. The homeroom that raises the most money will have a party sponsored by Sisters in Action. Homeroom teachers who have not received change collection boxes for the Pennies for Patients fundraiser to store in your classroom, please send a student to room 401, Miss Brown's class, to get one. Enjoy a period of enlightenment at the first annual CCMS Multicultural Program sponsored by Sisters in Action this Friday during your related art. Tickets are only $2. Tickets can be purchased at the fee window. Seats are limited, so get your tickets early. The canned food drive is going on now. Please donate today. Check it out. Remember, you're required to wear your ID or your temporary ID every day at school. Your lantern must be around your neck or your temporary ID must be visible. You can buy temporary IDs from your house secretary. Now, here's a special Black History Month feature. Hey guys, this is Haley, and I have a really great book for you today. It's Rosa Parks' Civil Rights In this story, she was born in 1913 and grew up in Alabama. As she was growing up, she found she was surrounded by the oppressive of force of white supremacy. Racial discrimination is what inspired Rosa Parks to work for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP. One day in 1955, Rosa Parks rode the bus. Well, it wasn't a regular bus ride. She refused to give her bus seat to a white person. That was against the law, which resulted in her arrest. Also ignited a citywide bus boycott by rights movement and brought an end to legal segregation south. This is what happened in that story. You should really check it out. Hi guys, this is Denise and we also have a story about Martin Luther King. This book talks about his important historical mindset that he achieved and how you should follow what he does. He even talks about his I Have a Dream speech that united many Americans to oppose inequality in a peaceful manner. Dr. King's speech is the main thing of what he is known for. Then it talks about his efforts that helped bring about the sweeping new laws that changed countless lives forever and brought the nation a giant step closer to tolerance. I love this book and you should definitely read it. Thanks, Janice and Haley. All right, Cougars. Thanks for watching. See you back here tomorrow. Hey, Cougars. This is Trinity with Leonard to close out our show. Now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, for a moment of silence. You may be seated. At the bell, students may report in the first period. This has been the CCMS News team reminding you to be a believer. Now I'm a believer and not a trace of doubt in my mind. Say it with me now, Cougars. One team, one dream!